IRL fan here once again coming at you with another video. Today we're going to be heading towards another portion of the abandoned Gary and Western High Line through Gary right off of Madison Street. Uh, right now we're standing on the abandoned Wabash Railroad 4th District uh, a couple of blocks uh, west from Madison Street where the Wabash Railroad used to cross. And just to give you all a quick panorama here back that way where the Wabash Railroad would go to uh, Tolleston. So, we're gonna be on our way there now. Still heading east. Uh, just wanted to point out that this location here, um, the old Gary uh, Heat Light and Water Company, um, this property is now in use by the city. And I believe most of the property back here is owned by the city these days anyway and this like the Wabash Railroad used to pass right through here all the way up to about 2014 and we're gonna pass the Gary Water and Light Building because it's only right to show it on this video Alright, here we are. This is the water and light building. Uh, there's a company, I believe it's a for-profit. Um, I believe they were trying to turn this place into some condominiums or something like that. But it's probably just some bullshit. Somebody just made up a uh, non-for-profit just to get some money some kind of way and hide it. Because absolutely nothing is happening with this building. Here we are standing right directly in front of this building here. 9th Avenue and Madison Street. And there is the Wabash 4th District right in front of us. Well, the former Wabash 4th District anyway. And this area used to be extremely busy. Wabash used to have a station right down the, right down the uh, road there. Right in the middle of the screen on Broadway. And a whole lot of other businesses were served by the Wild Bass Railroad, including this water, heat, and light building, or whatever it's called. But that's enough of this. We're going to go ahead and head towards Madison Street now, which is right around the building. The abandoned Doom Park Branch Bridge is there. But this location here used to be the location of Dalton Coal Company. It was a huge coal yard. They used to sit here. Um, and this building here, this brick building right here in front of us, uh, my friends over there at Steel City Storm actually um, explored this building. I will uh, link their video in the description so you all can be able to, you know, see what this building was about. But basically, this building used to be the office, the general main office for the Dalton Coal Company. And I have some photographs of this building that I'm going to share with you in this video. All right. It still pretty much looks the same on the outside. You know. Built in the mid 1920s was a huge coal yard here and the Gary and Weston here Indiana Harbor Belt actually serviced this rail uh, service this property service Dalton Coal Company here up here uh, from this bridge now this bridge right here is a double track bridge all right which means there are two track beds on the top of this bridge here. Once again, we're on Madison Street. I'm gonna find a way to get up there. And this is the reason why I'm here. But I just wanted to show you guys, see one trap bed there, then another trap bed there. All right. And um, there was a siding track up here that was used uh, for the type of coal hopper cars that used to flip, they used to dump, and they would dump the coal down chutes, and the coal would be collected under 
you know, those chutes and take them to a large uh, receptacle for storage and distribution. The Dalton Coal Company, the Dalton family, used to be a prominent family here in the city of Gary, Indiana during its early years, um, during the, uh, the uh, early 20s and on into the 30s and 40s. Um, Dalton Coal Company actually moved from this spot here. This is why there is no coal company there anymore. Dalton Coal moved to um, Massachusetts Street and uh, became an oil company. Uh, it was fuel oil. I don't know why I can't talk fuel oil and heating oil and things of that nature to heat homes and to cook food and the things, things of that nature, possibly, you know, oils for mixing chemicals and plastics and whatnot. But this is the reason why I'm here to explore this bridge. Uh, I've drove under this bridge, but I've never actually been up top before, and I don't even know if I can. But you know, GI Rail fan, you know I like to get up high. So this is a, a, a bridge where we're going to be exploring today. I just wanted to give everybody a good look at where I am. So this is the CSX Porter Branch. Of course, this used to be a part of the Michigan Central Railroad. Michigan Central was the first major railroad to come through the region in the mid 1800s. And a couple of months later, Michigan Southern came through. It's, I actually have a photograph of the old Michigan Central Depot that used to be up there around that curve. <clears throat> All right. As you can see there, you see the track breaks off in the two tracks here in this spot. Um, this spur right here it's the sugar train spur that takes um, Norfolk and Southern trains to uh, Indiana Sugars on Virginia Street, which is down the track here around the curb. All right. But I can't really see anywhere to get up on top so I can get up on that bridge. Okay, I'm out of breath. The GRF fan made it up. <laughs> so this is Madison Street. I'll be looking at down there. And the bridge is right here. As you can see, it's very overgrown. But if this is one side of the track bed here. You can see there's still a track laying on it. But I told you guys this is a double track track bed. And here is the other side with no tracks on it. Show you guys that. Never been up here before, so you guys are up here with me for the first time as well. So that's cool. Well, you can see the second rail bed here, and the tracks are completely gone. Like I said, this was a, uh, a Dalton's, Dalton Coal Company spur. And you can see the embankment down there is obliterated where the tracks used to come off of and right on the other side would be the uh, Adam Street Bridge and the Washington Street Bridge which I already did a video for just check out my Highline videos but let's go ahead and get over here on the other side of this alright you're rocking with GI Rail fan this morning last day of summer I think this is the last day of summer. And you guys are up here exploring the rest of the Gary and Western with me. Um, there's still a couple of bridges that I haven't explored up top yet. Those are going to be on my list. And those places will be better visited when the vegetation dries up. Whoa, look at this. Yo, yo, holy shit. It's a oh, 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 you know, you know that I love me some old railroad infrastructure. This is gorgeous. And it's still tracked down here, too. Look at that shit. Big ass trees growing up in the middle of it, though. But yo, look at this shit. I'm very happy that I decided to come up here this morning because I did not even know this was here. Of course, you wouldn't be able to see it because of all this foliage and vegetation and shit. 
Wow. This is absolutely stunning stuff here. Absolutely stunning. Wow. I'm trying to read the words on here. Well, holy shit. So this is the view of the Madison Street Bridge from the Dalton Coal Company uh, side. We're looking east. And over here, we have the main line track here, which as I stated before, as you can see, obviously the tracks are still here. I mean, it's a dense jungle back there. I want to get back here so bad. I see that there's still track here, but I don't know how far it goes back on this side over here where this um, bump post is. Mosquito tearing my ass up. And this is why I like exploring in the wintertime because the vegetation is lesser and there are no mos mosquitoes. I have met a challenge that I cannot overcome this time. The foliage is just too thick. I've already taken a pretty brutal beating coming over here. But this is an area that I would love to explore more. <sighs> Absolutely. I know there are still tracks that go all the way down. I don't know exactly where they stop. Think close to Harrison Street. There used to be two companies that were served up here, and both of those companies had their own spurs. All right? But I just wanted to get up here. See, now that I know that this stuff is up here, I'm really interested in seeing what else is up here. Because if this bump post is still here, which is right here, you know, could it be still switches up here? And that's something that I would really be interested in seeing. But right now, I just can't really find a way to get through here. I would need a bulldozer and saws and a crane, <laughs> probably, to get through this foliage here. Now, I wasn't expecting for the foliage to be this bad. But, you know, this branch has been abandoned for over 30 years. I'm 32, and the branch was abandoned just shortly before I was born. You know, but this is the end of the line, folks, for the Gary and Western exploration today. So, uh, woo, the thorns tearing me up and these mosquitoes. I'm telling you, I'm taking L's for y'all. <sighs> but this is GRL fan, baby. Dalton Coal Company, the bridge over Madison Street. I'm out.